Skins. These guys invented and market Mambo socks. And as Tony Cox reports, seeing is still not believing. Sports fashion. If you're going to play the game, you'd better dress the part. I have different sponsors that clothe me out, but uh, for head protection and warmth, I wear Mambo socks. Mambo what? Mambo socks. Of course he wears Mambo socks. These days, who doesn't? What do you think this is? An apron. It's a bag, I guess. You know what this is? Bathing suit. I bet you it's a hat. Yes, it is. And whether you're on the slopes of Colorado or the streets of Seattle, you're bound to see trend-setting youth donning one of the most bizarre fashion styles since the bell bottom. It's called a Mambo sock. It's a tubular, topless, adjustable hat. And right now, you can't top its success. Thousands of Mambo socks are shipped out of this Seattle warehouse daily. And these guys who are packing them, they don't work in shipping and receiving. They own the company. You won't see us in a suit. We go into business meetings with, you know, sandals and shorts and T-shirts on. Tom Bunnell and Dan Horde are like most fun-loving, softball-playing 28-year-olds, except for one thing. Their company is projected to gross $3 million in the next year. They are the inventors of the Mambo Sock. And how they come up with the name? They just thought it sounded cool. Cool or not, the average hat costs about $7. Let's see, seven into three million. That's a lot of Mambo Socks. Tom and Dan have come a long way since four years ago when they embarked on a fateful backpacking trip down under. It was the pants Dan hated that led them down the road to head-spinning success. And I cut the pant legs off one afternoon when we were probably drinking a few pints of something down there and um, stuck the pant leg on our head and actually flopped around. After driving around the streets of Australia with pants on their heads, Dan continued to travel while Tom returned home to Seattle to continue his job as a bartender. In the back of their minds, these guys were actually convinced that they could mass produce and market these pant legs. Go figure. About a year later, Dan returned from Australia back to Seattle, where he and Tom had about a thousand of the Mambo Sock prototypes made. Tom sold them from behind the bar. They sold out in two weeks. Suddenly, Mambo Mania hit the Seattle area. Tom and Dan had to make more, and Mambo Styles became in vogue. Oh, there's a million ways to wear your Mambo Sock. Mambo Sock tucked back. Babushka Mambo Sock. Full Mambo Sock. Sidewinder floppy mambo sock. The Pope mambo sock. Now the mambo sock empire has grown to include every style of clothing and headwear the mind can imagine. As for Tom and Dan, they will continue to run their million dollar company out of an office in a loading dock. They still load up their own cars every day and they have no intention of hiring anyone in the near future but their family and friends. One thing's for sure, these unlikely magazine cover boys are mamboing all the way to the bank. We're not in this to no. get cocky or become gabillionaires. We're in it to have fun. And if we can continue to have fun and get a paycheck each week and pay your bills and pay your rent and hang out with your buddies and have a good time like you always did, then you're, you're living a pretty good life. Mm -hmm. I'll say, kind of like the Pope Mambo Sock. And Tom and Dan run such a casual operation that in the winter, anytime their employees feel like it, they can leave the office and go snowboarding. Yeah, but we do that at Inside Edition. What's the big deal? And we'll be right back.